Okay, is everybody ready? Again, only watching one thing today. This is rallying right now and also has more of a spread than it did before. Okay, so you got to give yourself two trades on this today. The stop It's going to be between 30 and 40 cents. We're going to get a dollar out of this today. I just don't know where we get the setup. So let's go over it. I wrote all the numbers in the room. You can scroll back. I'm not looking at anything else. APOL is an NCOF, and I'm going to do it twice. And I don't think it reverse wishes, but if it does, I might still do it. In an ideal world, APOL opens and rallies to either 2420 or 2367, which it's basically at right now. It sets up and goes very quickly by no later than 935, which I do think is going to happen here now because it's rally rally. Stock must set up by no later than 9.40, 9.45 a.m. No exceptions. This cannot rally for 30 minutes before it breaks. I really think it could do a pop, pop and go at either one of the numbers, 24.20 or 23.67, which it's right here now. I mean, it is right here now. Good luck, everyone. Have a solid day. If you take more than your normal risk in the first train and it stops you out and you want to take it a second time, that's on you. You you have to money manage yourself. And I'm telling you right now, this could need two takes. I don't know that for sure, but I'm saying there's a possibility. Okay. This is down a lot. Oh, look at that spread. Could we just have one gap here that doesn't have a crazy spread? Could I just have... I, I'm asking the market for a gap without a big spread, a great gap in the next seven days. That's, that's what I want. Give that to me, market, please. Jeez. Let's read a card here before we start our day. Let me pick one. Oh, this is a good one. All my relationships are harmonious. When we create harmony in our minds and our hearts, we'll, we will find it in our lives. The inner creates the outer always. Oh, that's a good one. And we can certainly apply that today to trading. Good card today. Put that up. Okay. Our relationships with our stock is harmonious today. Okay, we're back to a normal spread here. Ten cents is probably what it, this is going to be. Good luck, everyone. Target on this today is 2140, 2136, 2134. Let's see what it does. I do have 100% conviction it gets there. I mean, of that, I won't know until I see exactly how the stock sets up here, how quickly it sets up into the open. Oops. Let's see how badly my clock is off today. One of these days, my clocks will get fixed. <sighs> now 
No, it's this. My clock is wrong. Actually, yeah. I wish I could see the seconds on my phone. <laughs> one person said 40 seconds, one person said 10 seconds. <laughs> Everybody's different clocks. All right. <laughs> Come on, you feel well. Let it rally. Let it rally. Let it rally, and it also has a 30 cent spread. Okay, let's see if this goes up to 24. It might not, but I'm just saying. Look at that spread, though. Ooh, -y, ooh, -y, ooh, -a. ooh, 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 ooh. We do this aggressively. Thirty-nine by ninety. Thirty-nine by ninety. I don't think that's going to hit. I think it's going to rally again. But thirty-nine by ninety. Thirty-nine by ninety here. Has to be ninety. And I don't think this is going to hit. I think it's going to rally over 74. So don't take it pre presumptuously. 39 by 90, I am going to do it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Up. Oh, I didn't get filled. I didn't get filled everything in there. Oops. I didn't get filled. I'm pressing it and it didn't hit 39. There. I just got filled some. There. I just got filled. Oh, geez. I didn't get filled everything I wanted. Did anybody get filled everything they wanted? Let's see if I can still get some late. What the heck? Oh, I'm not getting filled everything I want. Oh, it's going. I don't have everything I want. What the heck? <sighs> Did anybody get filled everything they wanted? Well, that really was annoying. I'm in it, but I don't have what I wanted this. We're going to have to get another setup. Everybody has it but me of everything they want. <sighs> the heck. Oh, I'm just not getting filled. There. Okay, finally. <sighs> oh, five, oh, six. Okay, we can take more 05 and put the stop at 60. Market's coming in. Okay. 
I'm going to add it 05. Let me just make sure we can put the stop. 65. 05 by 65. You can take more. This is aggressive. Here, I'm taking it now. There, I got filled. I took it before. Here, it just hit. Here, this is going to go. Man, this why, why? My whole price would have been up here. Oh, man. Hold on. Here comes the market. That really pisses me off. It's a second day. Here we go. 2250, that was the first number. 2250. Here we go. This is a beautiful trade. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Stay with it, stay with it. Stay with the trade. Stay with the trade. We have the market. It's early. It's 935. 2250. And I, I, I would be up an extra extra money here. Like, that would be very significant if I had gotten filled everything I wanted back there at the original price. Okay, we're going to have to get out of half of this, though, at the bounce of 2250. Gonna break 80. Stay with it. 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 Here we go. Yes. 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 Twenty-two fifty. Come on. Yes. Now my PNL looks good, but I would be up more. Sixty-four. I'm staying with it. Here, let it break 60. There, I just took I just took half out. I just took half out. What the heck? Oh my god, I didn't get filled out. I didn't get filled out. <sighs> what the heck? I didn't get filled out of anything I wanted there. <sighs> All right, I'm, I'm in the whole trade. What on earth? I'm in the whole trade now. But I, I didn't really plan on being. Let's see if it keeps going here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I might take it out before the next thing. I didn't get filled to get out. Of, I'm just in the whole trade. What the heck? It's got to break 55, though. And I might press it, but here. Oh, my Lanta. Let's see if it breaks 50. There, it broke 50. 2235 is the next number. 2235. There, there, I just tried to get out. What the heck? I didn't get filled out. I'm not getting filled out. There, I just got filled. Oh my gosh. I didn't get I didn't get filled out the second time I pressed it there. I just got out of half. Crap. Be aware of that, people. Be aware of that, people. Hold on. 65. Let's put the stop for the rest. I'm telling you, you gotta get out early. I, I didn't get filled out in the first time at all. Nothing. Here, 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 here. Oh my Lanta. What the heck? Ah! Here, let's put an order out. Here, maybe we should just take the whole thing here any second. Oh my lanta. Here. I'm out of half though, but I almost didn't. It's not gonna matter. Here. That was crazy. Here. Here, I just took the whole thing. I'm out of it. Then it hit me up. I'm out of the whole thing. That was a great trick.
trade. I'll call it again. It's going to bounce in here. It's 940. That just made a monster, 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 monster move. But it is going to go to the number that I told you today. Oh, my gosh. This was getting filled in this today. In and out was crazy. What on earth? This was a great trade, though. And I don't even have any words to say. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Let me just figure out something. If I got filled at the original price, I just want to see something here. Here, here, you, I, I'm out of the whole thing. And, and that was the right decision because this was nuts. Here, hold on. And that was a dollar, okay, people? It was more than a dollar from the original entry, but a dollar from the late entry for Pete's sakes. For Petey's sakes. I just want to see something. Man, I, I would have made a lot of extra money if I got filled right. That pisses me off. What the heck? <sighs> I just want to see where I did get filled today. I got filled with IGT Smart. I didn't even get filled at ARCA when I tried to short it. And that doesn't make any sense. I got out with ARCA though. All right, let's 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 look at what we're. I'm not completely out. I'm completely out here right now. Is anyone not not out? It's gonna go to twenty one thirty six, and I am a genius. And that's why you people are here with me. Cruiser still has half. Helena's still in it. Be careful. Discipline dude is holding a quarter. You'll get another dollar out of that if you can. Gallad said, "I am a genius. I am." I said, we're, what did I say today? What did I, here, let's look at what it did. Let's look at my sheet and let's look at what it did. Wow. And it did it in the first bar. I said, sets up very quickly by no later than 9.35, which it did. Here it goes. It's going to break 22. I'm not in it anymore. I'm not in it anymore. I got a late bill. I couldn't get out when I wanted to get out of half. It's going to break 22. Beautiful trade for those of you that are in it. But no piggies. No piggers. 21.36 today. APOL. But I, I think it's going to bounce soon. This is it. This is the end of the morning move here for those of you that are still in anything at all. Unless you're going to be in it until 4 o'clock. I'm telling you. No piggers. Let's look at the market. Hold on. Then we'll go over it. Well, that's not why this worked, but that certainly didn't work against us. Galahad's fully out. Discipline dude trailing by two bars. It's bouncing right in here. Whew, I'm like out of breath. I need a nap. <laughs> I am so pissed, though, that I did not get filled where I wanted to, that whole thing. That, let me just look at my executions because I'm going to call the broker again. What the heck? And then what I did was then I was trying to cancel the orders quick because you know what, you know what happens then? Gosh, this happened, this happened to somebody. Who was the one that it happened to? When, if, if I kept pressing it, then I pressed it three times, nothing was getting filled. And then I was concerned that I would get filled like, 10,000 shares of it. And, and and that would have not been what I wanted. Although that would have been, I would have made like 20,000 to $10,000, but that would have been an insane amount of risk. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like trying to quick cancel everything. And then I was trying to find a way in to just take more. That's why we did it at 05. This really isn't an entry. We did this. I just was trying to say, how can we take more of this sucker? This really wasn't an entry. I just want to go over that. But I was just like, get it, get it, get it. Because I didn't get filled here everything. And then I had to quick cancel them. Who was the one person in here that got more than they wanted to the same thing happen and then they got and they made a lot of money? I think it was Edwin, actually. New Jersey trader, if you even do anything to give that money back, I'm going to call your wife. He just had a common day. Is that the first one you've ever had in your life? Keep the money. Keep it. I gave you the lecture yesterday. I said the ones to be aggressive on are the ones that I say, boom, this today. And you did it, so good job. Don't give the money back to the market. Don't take any more of the trades today. No one should take any more trades today at all. If you do, I'm flying to your house and I'm going to scold you. This was an awesome trade. If I call this again, you can do it. That's it. Mr. Mom. <laughs> Mr. Mom wants to take it again. Mr. Mom, don't even tell me you didn't get it. 
Mr. Mom said scold me. What's another one? Not right in here. Too early. Has to bounce. Too early. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Too early, too early, too early. You're welcome, New Jersey trader. I have no idea why you don't do the class. You really are going to have to do the class because you're going to miss trading with me. Here we go. 29. I can't even believe I'm calling this. 29 by 60. It's a kamikaze. This is for Mr. Mom. I don't, I don't even know if it goes down and breaks so low, but there it is. 29 by 60. It's a kamikaze. I think this is going to bounce more. I wouldn't do it. I'm not doing it. I'm done for the day. But I'm telling you right now <laughs> that this could break the new low and not set up again. 29 by 60. Kamikaze because this is a 50-50 of the working. But this does go to the number I gave today. Man, I am so pissed that I didn't get filled up here with everything I wanted. But how else could we have gotten it? If I would have had to short it on the, here, this is going to go. This is insane. I'm done for the day. It's not going to set up again right. And Mr. Mom dreamt it to happen, and he wished it to happen. Uh, I don't know if this breaks a lot. It doesn't be all out. But I think this is too early. Anyways, I don't even know if I would have gotten filled there. Here, this is going to break again. This is craziness. It's so crazy. It's beautiful. I'm not in it. I don't see any reason to be. If it doesn't break the low, scalp it. This little one I just called here, this little jiggy. If this is this is if this doesn't break the low in here, then you'd be all out of it. Although it's trying, it's trying, and I did not redo this. I mean, did you even get filled here? I mean, if I didn't get filled here, how? I mean, did you even get filled here? I got filled everything here, but I mean, did did you actually get filled here? This is down like ten, here it goes, here it goes twenty one thirty six APOL right here it goes. Look at this beautiful NCOF, great call. I'm not in it. Here it goes. No other setups today. It's going to drop all the way down into ten o'clock and go right to the target. Awesome trade. Awesome. And by the way, did you get filled? Really? It's weird. Here! <laughs> oh, here it goes. Look at that. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. Put your order out to fill you at 2140 because you have trouble getting out. Nobody wants to give any back. Put the order out to fill you somewhere. Mr. Mom, both your fills were okay. Helena says she must follow the plan, the reason I'm in. Didn't get what you wanted, but you feel lucky you got it. Oh, my Lance is right. Shower Singer didn't get filled in either train. Did you try more than one ACN? Cruiser got out of 2180. That's a great exit. That's a great exit, Cruiser. Did you have the whole thing down there or just a half of it? That would have been nuts. And North Carolina Beach guy, did you hold this or not? You're usually the one that gets in and click, 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 click out. I, I know you take a lot of size, so you do that. But North Carolina Beach guy, did you actually stay and hold this through? I said, try to get a dollar out of it. I said, we're, what did I say? I said, we're going to get a dollar out of this today. We are going to get a dollar out of this today, and we exactly did. We got, we got more than a dollar out of it. But I said, we're getting a dollar out of this today. Of course, I wish I would have taken more. I always say that. But we really put the stop at the right place because of the spread. And then I cheated the stop here. But it's because of the late exit. I mean, the entry. This is bouncing. Let's see where it went. This is insane. very happy. We can just sit here and look at our money. 
In fact, let's play a song. I know I don't know if I can bring YouTube up right now with my platform up. Hold on. My computer is so slow. Gosh, it needs to be cleaned out so badly. <laughs> I only have a certain number of memory. Uh, your broker has great ECNs, but their platform is crap, says Mr. Mom. Mr. Mom, I thought you were changing. In fact, I thought you were changing. In fact, you should change over the time period of the break, over the Easter holiday, at the beginning of the month. Uh, NC Beach Guy didn't get any at all, no fill. Two people, like, let's go over this. Who didn't get filled at all? NC Beach Guy and Shower Singer didn't. Should have just went market with 15 cents of slippage. Would have made 10K or so. Wow. So Shower Singer and NC Beach Guy, did you, do you use hotkeys or market orders or limit orders? And do you have more than one uh, thing to uh, fill you? It doesn't normally happen, and I'm surprised it's happened with this, but, you know, it did. And I kept hammering it. And I almost think I should have just kept the order sitting there then, but I quick canceled them then. I quick canceled them then. When this little guy went up and he was green for a millisecond, then I quick canceled it. And I was like, crap. And I probably would have got filled everything right up in here. And then I hit it, hit it, hit it. And I said, let's take it at 05. Mr. Mom, you still got to get the paperwork going now. At least get the paperwork in place. Limit order. Okay, that's what I used. But I don't, I don't know if you would have gotten better with a marketer or not. This is done for now. It could, it could just go right down to the other number I gave you, though. But I don't think anyone should still be in this. All right, let's go back to bed. Uh, the market is red. And that's the story with that. Let's look at this one. Nothing here. Um, and I really looked at nothing else today. All right, who wants to go over what? Anyone? This is going to go to the target I said, though. Look at that. It's going to keep going. Is anyone still in it? Tom probably is still in it. Is anyone still in it at all? I mean, really, this is almost 10 o'clock. you got to be careful. Don't, don't. Don't get back 50 cents to make 20 cents. It hit 66. And I, and I do think it gets to the number I said, but I mean, this is just a gymongous move. Look at the bar. We got, we got it. It's all about the entry. It's all about the entry. Here it goes. Look at this. And I plopped it in the room in the morning. The entries class is Thursday and Friday if anybody wants to sign up. I did get the emails from the people that want to retake it. But again, if you didn't ever sign up and want to do it, it's Thursday and Friday. You have to sign up by the day, though. Look at this. It's going to break 66. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. <sighs> Thank you, market. Thank you, market. Jaffo, don't be a picker. Jaffo's still in it. Does someone do to still in it? That stops too far away at 2205. Helena, are you out of it? Surf Dog put limit orders out two pennies below the ask. It almost always works. Okay. Obviously, Surf Dog, you got it. Surf Dog, how much money are you up today? Write it in the room. Here, right now, I want to hear how much money everybody's up in the room. I'm not going to say your names. I just, just give me some dollar amounts right now. I want to hear the, I want to see the money. Money, 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 money. Come on, write it in the room. This is good for your brain. This is good for your positivity. This is good for your mental effort so you know the market pays you. Jaffa was saying yesterday, and this is what spawned the whole discussion yesterday. We went off on a tangent. He was saying the market's a conspiracy. It is not a conspiracy. Is it impossible to make $20,000 a year trading? No, it isn't. Is it impossible to make $100,000 a year trading? No, it isn't. Look at what we just did today. I know how to trade, and I taught you how to do it. And if you're in here with me, you will do it. It is not impossible. This is good for your brain. Right in the room, how much money are you up? Let's see. $1,800, $712, $1,500, $1,000, $700, $780, $600, $800. $800. Let's tally it all up. Let's tally up everybody in here that just plops it in. How much money of the people that want to share it? If you don't want to share, that's fine. I'm just tallying up the people. Let's just add it up. This helps your brain. We're going to tally up what everybody is up here that wants to share, and we're going to tell you the total. 86.32. And that isn't even, half the room didn't even put it in. And that's fine, but that's $8,632 that people shared that they, that I helped you. I helped, I helped people make $8,600 today. 
Woo! Yay, let's give us all a hand, plus the money that I made. <laughs> Shex, I said it was an NCOF. Why didn't you risk more? Jax, you have to get a new phone. Use that $75 to buy an iPhone. Trader Gal, you got one and a half hours, but he had two hours lost yesterday. Yes. Trader Gal, why are you talking about yesterday? Why are you even talking about yesterday? Amnesia. Somebody has to go give Trader Gal a pep talk. Way to go happy for everyone. Discipline, dude, did you put what you're up in the room? Yes, you did. Good job. Gal had, it's not putting back your losses from yesterday. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to give you people a talking to. NC Beach guy, from now on your NCF calls, you will go market. That's fine. This is, I think this is an anomaly here that happened here today. Because this usually doesn't happen because we take the trade so aggressively. I think, to be honest with you, Let's just look here at what was going on prior to this, and then we'll go over everything. This, I mean, you know, and Jocko said he wanted to rally. I said, no, no, he doesn't have to rally at all. But you see here, I think this didn't, this didn't help the situation as far as us getting filled. There was, when I saw this, here, this is what I saw this morning. I just saw this go like here, and I then, then that bar made it. Like, I could have shorted this here. I, it made a tick. I could have shorted this this morning at 26. I knew it would go. I knew it would go. I should have just, I should have just taken it. And I, I just could have made like $500 just doing nothing because then it did this. But I'm saying that's why. This is an anomaly. Here, it's going to the number. This is crazy. Anyways, that's why I think we had a situation about getting filled because of the fact that Oh my gosh, is this going to go to the target I got? No, I don't even know if anybody's in this anymore. This is insane. Look, it's going to go to the number I said. Let's see if it lands right on the number I said. Anyways, this, <laughs> this is this is the problem. So it, because it didn't, this this we could have just shorted it right here. But if we had, I would have put the stop at 2430, to be honest with you. I would have put it at the maximum resistance. And so, you know, it would have been a dollar. You know, we would have all gotten filled our original price, but we still wouldn't have gotten what we wanted with the original sizing. But that was the problem here, this, 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 this. That was the problem. I was, I was like in such a, I was just, just trying to get filled so badly that I don't even, I'm looking back here now, Surf Dog just asked what I made. I'm looking back here now at this. And I just realized how much money I risked in this. I just was trying to get filled so badly. I actually risked more than I probably should have risked in this. Not that it would have mattered because it was an NCOF, but I really just decided that I was going to risk a lot in this. You have an automated target at 42? Well, it, be careful. We'll go, over, we'll go over yesterday if you want to, but I want to go over today first. And I think it's very important to not think about days that you didn't have a good day when you just lose two hours. If you had bombed out and had a five-hour loss day yesterday, I would be concerned about yourself and say something's going on. But to lose two hours and then not be able to get over it, thats that you have to think about that. There will be days when you don't make money trading. We talked about this yesterday, too. It's almost like when you sign you sign the contract for this job, they hire you. You're hired. You're going in and you're going to become a trader. In the contract, it says some days you're going to have to walk away with a loss. And you say, why do I have to sign this? Are you sure I have to sign this? I don't know if I want this job if I have to sign this. But you do have to sign it. Because look what happened with this yesterday. If we didn't take the stop on this, look where it went. And now today it's over 14. This didn't work right yesterday. And sometimes there isn't a reason why. But if we didn't take the stop and the loss, then what would have happened? We would have lost more. Look, this isn't even working right today. You sign the contract to trade. And when you sign that contract, you have to say your ability to take risk, that you, you are okay with taking risk, and you understand some days you'll have to walk away with a loss. That loss should be small. It should not be big. It should be based on the size of your account, how much you're willing to risk, and the train should be something that if you retake it a second time, you believe in. I think that it's okay to lose two hours on a day. You can make that back in one trade and still be profitable. 
If you're not okay with risking two hours, take one trade a day or lower your risk. You sign the contract and it says some days I might lose money. And that's a good thing because it means that you have the ability to be self-disciplined. Some people are not and they will let a day that somebody doesn't work out turn in against the, them in the one day and run all week. That's why I say have amnesia. And those of you that wanted to talk about yesterday, you got to do some soul searching. And I don't want to talk about it in the room for myself even too, but I am talking about it now, but we're not going to do this again, okay? We got a great gap today. We made fantastic money. Helene is all out. You should be all out. Yesterday was very strange because of the way the stock was acting. And we can go over that. But JRJC was the one yesterday. You could have made money in the morning and you could have made money in the afternoon. And some people did. I did the trends class in the afternoon, but you could have done this in the afternoon and we'll go over this too. Now let me just see what Surf Dog said here. Hold on. You made the money back in Suns yesterday. It was an awesome. You should check it out. The gap rated good. That was the one that got halted, I think, but it did open then before the open. Tell me what you think of a trade. I'll tell you to be proud of me, girl. All right, Surf Dog. We'll go over that, the market, and everything else. I just wanted to look here and see what I really risked on this trade because I was, I think I was just pressing the button because I was, I just want to see what I actually did risk on this. Hold on. It's so hard to tell here because I got so many different fills. This, it was so strange. I have so many different price fills here. And I didn't really look then what my average price was, and it's too late. <laughs> I have no idea what my average price was in here now. I'm looking at I had so many different fills, but at least I got it. I'm not sure what my I'm not sure what I actually risked on the trade because of the fact that I didn't really pay attention to my average price. And I was looking at the chart, and that was the right thing to do. I was focused on the chart and focused on the chart and focused on the chart and focused on the chart. Surf Dog wants to know how much money I made. Here you go. I made almost $1,700. Oops. Let me put that back. But I don't know how much I risked to make that because I didn't look at my average price. There it is. Boop. Where did it go? So Jaffa made $100 more than me. <laughs> but I'm not really sure what my average price was. I was so watching the chart. Um, and I wish I would have actually taken like 10,000 shares of it and let every order I had sit in there. But I, I, I couldn't be happier. And, and you know, what? I, that's why I was adding up my calculator. If I had actually held it down here, I think I would have made another thousand dollars. I don't, this is that we just, that what we did was perfect. Perfect. Okay. I, the only reason I really was like, I just knew this was the high of the day. Let's go over it. Let's go over everything. Here, let's go over the whole thing. All right. This here did this. And we could have shorted this here, but I would never short somebody to 930. And I said, wait, because I actually thought it was going to rally then. It, it, but, okay, I called the train. And I gave it a good cushion here for where to put the stop. You can rough it out. Okay. It was more than I thought initially. The spread was more than I thought too. But anyways, I did get filled some here, which was the best price of the amount I got. And I had a bunch of orders sitting. They were just sitting there and I was just slamming it. And then I had to quick cancel them because then I saw it go 20 cents under. And I, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what this was going to do then basically. And then I, I just didn't know what this was going to do. And then it went up here and went green. No, I think I killed them here. I think I killed them when they started to go green. Anyways, <clears throat> then I called a kamikaze, which was a good trade. But I don't even think it would have mattered if we, I took as much as I could here. I just tried to take as much as I could. I don't know what my average price was. I don't even know what RARs I made on this actually because the, all my fills were so different. And I think everybody's was. Anyways, then it came down, 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 down. I think this is where I got out, right before the reversal time here. 
And look at this, a dollar or more, reversal time, 17 red bars down, you gotta get out of half or more or whatever. And then it did this, and you here, here's what you could have done. Taken half out here, let it rally back, lower the stop over here, tight, 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 tight. Don't take any more here. You're killing your price if you do. Unless you got a lot and want to retake it, this call actually worked. It was a kamikaze though. Then you let it drop on down. You could squeeze some more out of it through the break of 22, which is really where it went when it solidly broke 22. This doesn't count. It's only five pennies. This was a solid break of the 22. And basically then... Uh, you, you have to be allowed here. Helena got 3.4 hours. Okay, good job. I actually think this can go down to 21 in here now. I, and I, I don't think 20 is out today. And I, I, $20 I don't see happening. 21 could happen here now. Pass the number I, I gave for the number. Uh, because this is here. This is, I'm going to, this is, I'm going to call another kamikaze. 84. By 25, big stop though, and it's it's a kamikaze. And I 84 by 25, 2184 is a short stop. Is 2225? If you wanna if you wanna take this again, I mean, there's, I'm simply not doing that. I'm very happy with the money that I'm at. And it was tough today to get to get filled everything at the perfect price, and I would have made more money if I had gotten filled all I wanted, and I probably would have made over three thousand dollars, but. What are you going to do? I'm not certainly not going to cry. I am going to call about it, though, again. Because I am going to. Okay. First of all, does anyone want to go over anything at all? We're going to go over yesterday's. We're going to go over the market. We're going to go over APOL. We're going to thank the market for everything it's done for us today. Thank you. Uh, Jaffa says he takes half off the first break, quarter and then a quarter at your own discretion. Okay. Sons. You got filled this time. Shower Singer just did it now. Be careful. It's very late. I don't think I would have done this. I, I see what you did here. I, I, you made money. What What did you do? I wouldn't have done this, but you, go ahead. Tell him what you did. Tell him what you did, Surf Dog. He wants me to go over his trade from yesterday. Where did, where did you take this? Where did you short it? I, I wouldn't have done that morning short. I would have done the afternoon one. I, I actually don't think I would have, but if you, I, I could have, the afternoon one was a one. What, what did you do here? I don't, I don't think I would have done this. Not high odds to break the low, but it did break late in the day with the market. What, what did you do? JRJC was a lot better, but tell me what you did. I'm glad it worked for you. This is really, you're shorting this. I mean, and, and at the time of the day, it's if this is what you shorted, I, I wouldn't have done this. But it did work. Uh, this is this I like a lot better. This I like a lot better in here. 15 by 30. Where did it go? Yeah. This was here, 15 by 30. This is a nice trade, 75 cents almost. And that's the one I feel 100% conviction in. This could have gone either way. I wouldn't have done this, but if you did this, I'm glad you're up. This one is fine. Like this, I would have called that I wouldn't have. You made eight hours. That's great. I'm assuming you did this one then. Used to jump out early all the time, but using the Six simple period moving average has really helped you stay in a good gap down longer and get out of the bad ones faster. Okay. Hey, whatever works. All right, so Surf Dog did this. I'm happy that he made money. And I'm not sure where you put the stop. I don't even remember the spread on this. I don't even recall. Anyways, you could have done it in here. It did drop on down. I probably would have advised you to take a piece of this, though, because, again, would time of the day is late. Would this have gone basically almost all the way through the low? Not necessarily. This is a nice little one in here, and then it goes and breaks. And then where was the close? Here. 
it did make a great day. This was the one that was really, really good. And I have no idea why I didn't do this. I, I do know because I just didn't think it had a big target. But it had the morning move. Rallied back. Could have done in here. Held. Could have done in here. Held. Dropped and broke. Nice afternoon trade all the way down to a dream target, a number I didn't even write down because I didn't think this would get anywhere near there. I think it's 460. Well, yeah, I said 460. I said 460, and if, if, I, had, if I had done this, it would have been out here at 245. I would have been out at 245 and 460 Boop. if I had done it. But this was a great trade in here. Your entry was early at 984. I... I'm assuming you did it here in the one minute then, or the five minute. I don't even see it on the five minute. You had to do it on the one minute. All right then. So some of you um, did not get this today. Did you try more than once to hit it and not get filled? Here, look at this go. It's going to break. Man. Wow, here it goes. This is gonna go down to the number I told you and possibly past it. This is awesome. This is so awesome. Here it goes. Look at that, people. Did anyone just do that late, late call? I think Shower Singer did it, but but you have to scalp it now. You have to scalp it now. And I can't believe you didn't get filled this morning, but got filled here. But I would scalp it. Boy, when I say no chance of failure. Never wrong. I go wrong when I see it. And speaking of no chance of failure, the market. So let's go over it. So this did not get over the high yesterday. It's not today. It's Wednesday. We'd have to gap up now to make it over the high this week. Could we? Sure. We absolutely could. Two more days left in the week. I have to check the e that's out. But I actually don't think we do get over the high this week. I actually think we may need up until through the holiday. It could happen next week. All right. But the market's still very, very, very strong. And a lot of good questions yesterday in the trends class. One of the ones I think Great Gatsby answered asked, he was like, well, what about what a, what about the how do you know who's in control here? He said. How do, I said the bulls are in control. He said, How do you know, Melissa? The red bars, the back and forth, we didn't get over the high yet. Um, because I can read the gaps and they're telling me who's in control here. It's not like when one uh Direction is in control. You never see the other one temporary. In other words, the control here is to the upside for the market. The bulls are in control of this market. That doesn't mean you're never going to see a red day. Today, if you tried to go long the market, you wouldn't make any money. I didn't call the market long today. But I would short it, okay? So there's a temporary red move here, a downward move in the market today, it doesn't mean that the control is not in the form of the long-term trend of the bulls. It doesn't mean it's switching control either. Okay, Nothing goes in a straight line up or down. And it is about being able to read who's in control to be able to take the long-term direction right to be able to make money when you're holding overnights for swing trades or core trades. For the day trades, you don't need that. Could you day trade and short the market today? Yes. Would I have done that? No you would have actually been shorting a gap up and that wouldn't make any sense at all. And it would be in a bullish market. So that would really make no sense. But I did say today that the market was in a weird area that was strange, strange for it to hold today. And I didn't think that we would hold right today or if we did, it would be late in the day. And I don't even know if that happens now. I don't even know if that happens now at all, actually. But again, even if the market fell off a planet today or tomorrow, all the way down to here, we are still very, 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 very strong. The thing that makes trading uh, mysterious to people is they're looking at things that they think are a certain thing. They don't turn out to be true. And then they have the conspiracy theory that Jaffa was saying. 
like the conspiracy theory, like, oh, they're against us. It's a conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy. It's just that most people don't know what to look for. Because I know what to look for, I can accurately predict things that are going to happen on the live day and in the future. Many people don't know what to look for. So then they think it's a conspiracy theory, or they think that the market is against them, or it's gambling, or it's rigged. None of that is true. It's just that many people don't know what to look for. And the thing is that we all are looking at the same thing, but we all aren't focused on the same thing to make the proper decisions. People are looking at the market right now and seeing that it made a lower high, and they are now convinced that the market is going to drop and go lower. And looking at institutional money, you say, well, how can the market go red today at all if the institutions aren't selling? Because it can go red if anybody sells. Okay? If anyone sells, it can go red. Regular traders, retail traders, big traders, small hedge funds, who knows? Maybe even a big hedge fund is selling out today, but not the people that are really controlling the market. So there was new money that came in here in the list that happened for the minutes. That was real. And no one that bought in here is immediately selling out of it. Again, we've discussed this. These are new, new, there's new money coming in here. New money coming in here. New money coming in here. I can tell. So therefore, if the new money's in, I can still see it's there. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. It's there. Do you see? So there's no, there's, you know, I just know what to look for. So because the new money's still there, I know that the people in charge, the new money, isn't getting out because they just got in. Okay. LXK. Hold on. Tom wants me to look at LXK. Didn't you do full on APOL, Tom? Oh, this is something that I wouldn't have done. I I I wouldn't have done this at all. But let's look. I I I know you do these things. I don't agree with them. We just disagree, and it also opened a reverse swoosh. I'm, I'm glad you're up, money. Be out. 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 Be out of this. I don't like this. I know you're up. But I don't know why you didn't do APOL like full throttle, Tom. I, I don't I don't like this. But you're up. I don't like this. I don't like this. And I would be out. Oh, you did both. Okay, good. Uh, if you would have known APL, you had that conviction yesterday. You would have bought 25 puts. I didn't look at anything yesterday. I didn't look at the stuff for tomorrow, yesterday. Remember, I didn't. I didn't do it. And Tom had a talk. So I didn't go over it. But I, I, I didn't look at anything then. I didn't want to look at anything. Okay, if you would have known APL, you had the conviction yesterday, you would have bought 25 puts for 40 cents. They're at $3.40 right now. It would have made $6,000 with a risk of $800. But you, you normally do that because we normally go over stuff. I'll look at the stuff for tomorrow for you. Let me see what this did. Oh, my Lanta. Tom, I would have rather seen you did this. I, I, was, I was like, this is nothing here. I was like, what? This is gapping up, and look at it. It was a short. It was a short. I knew it was a short, but we don't short these. But look at that. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Where did this go? So this had a great trade in the afternoon. Sometimes you can trade in the afternoon, but if you're down from the morning and you trade in the afternoon and you're down in an afternoon trade, then then you're down and there's no coming back on the day at all then and you're down more. You got to really think about what you're doing. The risk to reward in this was good. It held. It was good. It was a good gap. I don't know why I didn't do this immediately out of the gate on yesterday, except for the fact that I thought the target was baby. But once again, a good gap can go as far as it wants to go. As far as it wants to go, it can go. Today was a good one, and I'm very happy we got it, and I'm very happy, and I'm happy despite the fact that I got filled late, and that's just life. That's just life. That's just life, and could we have made more? Yes. Some of you didn't get it at all. Does it suck? Yes. Uh, you know, some of you did a great job with this and, and got a better fill than me. I'm very happy with the money I'm up today. It is not earning season. We're probably going to get one more really, 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 really good one in the next week. We can look at the calendar and see what it is. I'll try to guess. And 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 I'm going to hit it. I have no idea what I ended up really risking in this, so I can't calculate my R's because I got filled so many different places. 
And I kind of wish I would have just kept my order there, but it's very risky to do that because something could go too, and then you can lose a million dollars immediately. And so I killed the other orders waiting to sit and then finally took them on the break, but I knew this would work. I knew this would work and I knew this was the high of the day. Man, I knew this was the high of the day too. Gosh darn it. One of these days, one of these days, I'm just going to not think about my risk at all. And when I say N2F, I'm going to calculate my maximum buying power that I could take. And I'm going to just take the whole thing. <laughs> one of these days, I'm going to do that. One of these days, I'm going to sit here and I'm not going to tell you I'm going to do it. But when I scream, then you'll know. Then, then you'll know that I did it. One, one of these days, I'm going to take every cent that I have in buying power. And I'm going to take an NCOF. And, and, and I'm, and I'm going to just do it. And I'm going to take every penny of buying power that I have in my account. And I'm going to just figure it out, whatever it is, 5, 10, 15, 25,000 shares. I'm going to just do it one of these days. And then you'll know when I scream one of these days. Whenever I say NCOF, it never not works. <sighs> JRSJC, I didn't have either. I requested it. I got it. Tom said we could do all 23 pointers. You would. I don't understand what you mean there. Oh, you lost me. You're saying we should do all the 23 pointers, but then what? What would work huge? You lost me. What you mean, Tom? Oh, you're saying every 23 pointer take the whole account of buying power. On the ones that would fail of the 23 pointers, you're not talking about NCOFs. So you're just saying anything that's 23 points, the ones that would fail, we'd lose big. The ones that would work would win big, but ultimately would work huge. Yes. The only problem is you'd have to be able to withstand if one didn't work, then you'd have to be able to withstand that in your account financially, which you could, um, and some people could. I actually did talk about you in the class yesterday, Tom, because we we're talking about how in the long years and years and years ago when I didn't train, when people made money during the tech bubble, and you were one of those people that just was trading and making money going long everything in the world, that you were one of those people that actually didn't give all the money that you ever made in that time back. Because a lot of people did make a lot of money and didn't know how to train in the 90s and the early 2000s in the tech bubble. And Tom made a lot of money at that time when that's when he first got into trading, but he kept it that I think is very unusual because a lot of people actually made a lot of money and gave it all back and then some. But you're not a risky person, so I guess that's why you're a conservative person. Here this goes. This is crazy. Shower Singer, <laughs> did you, are you actually still in it? Is anyone still in this? I mean, I can't see why unless you were Shower Singer and you took it late. Shower Singer still in it? LL? New Jersey Trader, if you even took one more trade after you had a $1,000 day, I'm telling you right now, I'm calling your wife. Look at this. Did you even take one more trade today? Oh, my Atlanta. You people are, you people are like maniacs with your trades. I'm telling you, you and Surf Dog need to go have a beer. This looks like crap. I would not do anything with this. It gapped up. It's crap. Don't do this. I wouldn't do this at all. I wouldn't do it. It looks awful. All right. Uh, let's go over Senex, and then we'll look at the stuff from, uh, whatchamacallit. I, New Jersey Trader, I wouldn't do it. Take your money and run today. Many people got filled late. Some people didn't get their whole size. I couldn't even get out when I pressed it initially. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all right, let's look at this. Um, let's go back to the one minute chart. Surf dog would rather puff a fatty. You smoke cigars. Oh my gosh, I was walking by someone in the street yesterday, on the street, in, in the broad daylight, and I could smell that they were smokers. And I thought, oh my gosh. Not only is smoking bad for you, surf dog, but it smells. 
I don't want to date someone that smoked. I couldn't kiss them. I wouldn't, they would taste awful if I kissed someone that smoked. A cigar, cigarette, anything. I walked by this guy and he, and I was like, oh my God, he's a smoker. I just, I just walked by him in the street. I'm like walking on the street and I'm like, Ugh. I like needed to spray perfume on myself. It smelled so bad. It's bad for you. It causes cancer and it smells. It's, it's not attractive. It's not sexy. Stop. <laughs> all right, let's look at this. First of all, I realized what happened here. Okay. First of all, does anyone from the trends class remember what I said about this yesterday? Let me just test and quiz the people that were in the trends class. I did say what I thought happened here. Does anyone remember? Does anyone remember what I said? We did go over this in the trends class yesterday. Does anyone remember what I said before I tell the rest of the room? What did I realize? And after I went back and looked at this when I was analyzing it, anyone remember? Jaguar paw, lack of volume, Galahad, not enough volume. Very good. Excellent. Not enough volume, but more than that, what else? There was, it was, it was, I said way too much to remember. <laughs> What besides the volume? It was not just the volume. Quick, quick, quick. It wasn't just the volume. Quick, quick, quick. It wasn't just the volume. It wasn't just the open. It was something else. No, 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 no. Not lack of movement. It had the movement. What else? It wasn't just the open. It wasn't just the lack of volume. What did I say yesterday was the reason that I, I, I just, and I saw it and I said it and then it didn't, I didn't register with me quick enough. What was it that I said? No one remembers In the live moment, this open, and and it and I and then I said, "Oh my gosh, it's a swishing!" And I said, "Wait a minute, no, it's not. Not enough volume. Not enough volume, and the level of the of the move. Okay, high up here at thirteen sixty five, low at twelve eighty six. So in other words, if this had the volume, a million shares or more, it would have swooshed. What was?" What I did, I said in the live moment, I said, wait a minute, this didn't swoosh. Then we did it here, but it didn't register to me till after the fact. This is actually a great setup in here. This really should have helped. Anyways, after the fact, I realized it of the fact that, um, what was I going to say? It did the size of the move without the volume. It's the size of the move that it did without the volume. It's the size of the move without the volume that was not right. Now listen to me, this is important because we're going to remember this the next time. And it, and it did register with me that it, it didn't have enough volume for the size of the move, that it wasn't a swoosh, but then it didn't register to me that it was going to fail because of that. It was, a, it, was a, it was a sign. It was a sign that it wasn't right, okay? Does that make any sense? For the follow through. What, this was a good train in here and we were up and I should have gotten out of half of this, okay? But anyways, I was up. I was up a good amount of money. Okay. Anyways, the bottom line is that this didn't follow through because of the size of the move and the lack of the volume, which was a sign, because this really should have been a swoosh. And then when it didn't break here and follow through, that was, that was a second sign. And I missed it when I was in it live because because this really was a great setup. I mean, this really was perfect in here. And I did love this here. So what happened was, everybody wants to know why, although sometimes there is no reason why. And you have to let it go. All right? Why didn't this work yesterday? Who knows why? It doesn't matter. Okay? Anyways, getting back to this, the selling came into the gap hard into the open with not enough participants to follow it through. So then that was it. And it was done. And it actually then looked like it was starting to get bought. I don't really think traders bought this yesterday. I think somebody did try to come in and buy this at an area yesterday. But it's a terrible, terrible, terrible buy. Even though it's getting lifted today, and even though it's over 14, it's a terrible buy. And we, we did talk about this yesterday too. But that it... it it did register with me. I did see it. I just see it. I talked it out loud. I remember talking it out loud. And then, but it didn't register that that meant it was going to fail, that it wasn't right. But now I know for future. Okay. Where did this go? 
2140. Oh, my lantern. That's it. That's the low of the day in this right there. It got to 2145. It got five pennies from the number I said, 2140. That's the, that's the, that's the low of the day. I'm calling it 1030. 1030. Five pennies from the number that I gave you. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I don't think it drops anymore. I think that's it. This is a beautiful one. Let's go over the stuff for tonight, and then that's it. Anyone have any questions about anything else? <sighs> Tired. Oh, we might we might actually get a goody 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 tomorrow. Let's see. One of these days I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take all my buying power. And I'm gonna take one of those. Maybe I'll do it next earning season. Maybe that's what I'll have to I'm gonna wait till April. I'm going to do it. And then when I do it, I'm going to scream. Do you know that some guy, here, North Carolina Beach guy, are you still in here? Let me look. Oh, he signed out. Shower Singer, the one guy I referred you to, he emailed me back that he thinks I'm a great trader and he talked to you for the referral, but he doesn't He doesn't think I'd be a good mentor because I shout and scream too much when I'm, when I'm trading. Can you believe that? I said, well, I do shout and scream when I'm excited when I'm at money, but I don't shout and scream when I'm teaching people in the class. So he said that he thinks I, I teach him well, but he doesn't want to take my class because he thinks I get too excited when I trade. I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, maybe I'm never giving referrals again. People don't even deserve them. The people that ask for referrals are the crazy ones. Crazy. Oh. You made $700 on a late play in this? Oh, my Atlanta. Oh, it's still going, and I really thought that was it. Be careful. Oh, you're out of it. Okay. Is anyone still in this? Remember the next number, 2136. Woo. I really think this is it, though. Oh, my Atlanta. 2140 it touched. If it breaks that 2136, shower singer's out, though. Add $700 to the total. All right, let's add it all, let's add it all up, and we'll add up mine, too. Everybody, here, put it in the room. The people that didn't, if you want to tell me your totals, we're going to add it up and we're going to celebrate. And let me add up mine. Anybody that's out. And let me go back from the original ones. Man, this is, here, this is it. 2133. All right, let's add everything up. Okay, line 38. Red. Me, shower singer. Tom, do you want to tally up yours? How much did you make on APOL? Write it in the room. We're going to add the whole room in here, everybody, what they made. And then we're going to have a party. Okay, let me go back and look at the rest of everybody's. We got Surf Dog, Jax, New Jersey Trader, Lineage. Lineage, luckily you were here today. Galahad. Galahad, you needed a day like that. Jotho had the big one. Catwoman. Jotho, what are you risking? You're risking a lot more than I thought you were risking. Jaguar Paw, Disciplined Dude, Disciplined Dude, you were a little conservative today, I think, on that. Okay, I got everybody now, I think. Oh my gosh, this is this is really it. You don't see anything, because I'm the only one that sees everyone's comments. That's the low of the day, 2133. I bet it is. Here's the, here, I'm going to go scroll up. This is the numbers I wrote in the room. And I, I thought 45 was it then, but I did say 34. I'm just going to, this is what I wrote exactly. I can't wait to see if this really is. Because you know what, if it is, the next time I'm just going exactly where I said to. This is why you, the experience. Here, 
here's what I put. APOL, time of the day was 8.50. That's it. That's it. Look, it's bouncing with the number. 21.34. I put four stars on it. Oh my Lanta. No, I don't think it does, Surf Dog. This is a monster move for this now. Do you understand? Look at the gap. Look at what it did this morning. Don't, no piggies. You're not in it anymore, anyways. That's it. And I'm telling you, that number was screaming at me this morning. I should have held the whole darn thing down to there. What would I have given back though in the rallies if I had? Let me just let me just look here. Because you're only see this is too much. Do you see here? This is too much. This is fifty cents. Fifty cents into that rally if you didn't get out of anything there. That's a heck of a lot. This is this was the one. This was the one that was hard to sustain it through. You're still in this surf dog. Dream target's 20, but it's not getting there. All right, let me tally up everyone in the room. I just want to email this to myself here. I'm going to just quickly email this to myself here, what I actually did write down for these numbers. You know, this helps my own conviction, people. You think I'm helping your conviction? I help my own by being this accurate. I'm emailing this to myself. All right, let's do the tally. We should do this more often. This helps everyone. That's the, I really think this is it. All right, let's add them all up. There's some dog next to our neighbor that is barking like a crazy person. And I don't know if he's in the hallway or if he's in the room, but he's been doing it all morning. I don't know if you just heard it now or if you've been hearing it all morning. Let me see if that's right. 212 plus 1800. Let's see if I got everyone. Your dream target is 2081. Okay. Oh, I missed Jaguar Paw and Discipline Dude. Anyone have any questions about anything else? I'm just going to look at the stuff for tonight and then we're really done for the day. It doesn't make sense to take any other trades. I said that earlier and uh, we had a nice day. I know some of you didn't get it, but set up more ACNs or try a market order next time. And just be very, very prepared when I say we're doing this no matter what. And I also said we're not looking at anything else today. I said, why would we look at anything else today? That doesn't make any sense. Here's the grand total of everyone that wanted to share, which is not everyone. Helena's friend is long APL now at 2150. Don't ever talk to that friend again. They're a bad influence on you, Helena. That's a, this is a terrible long. This is an, I just said no chance of failure is a short today on this. And Surf Dog is looking for $20 on this or something. I, I'm, I think this is done. I think I gave that number for the target today within one penny. That, that, that's amazing. I'm giving myself a round of applause. But I will say that I would never go long this in a thousand years. And that person doesn't know how to trade and don't talk to them anymore. Uh, here, that's why the, no, it's a good idea to have the room closed off. You don't want to influence yourself by anyone other than me. Oh, I should be the only one influencing you. This is the grand total of everyone that shared. I helped you people that wanted to share make over $11,000 today. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And I helped myself make almost $1,700 of that. But I feel so great. I feel so great that I did that for everyone. Yay. Okay. Good job, everyone. Now let's look at the stuff for tonight. And some of you didn't want to share. That's okay. Galahad says clap, clap, surf dog says yay, yes. 
That's fantastic. And, and it would have been even a bigger number if North Carolina Trader got in. He trades massive size and he has not been holding, but I know that he would have, he tried to get it. All right, let's look at what's tonight. Hmm. Oh, I like this. Mm. Yeah, I like five better. This is too thin, but should trade. Too thin, too thin, too cheap. This is good. I think five is the one so far. All right, let's look at Red Hat seriously here. <sighs> Red Hat's gonna get up probably. If it gets down, we'll watch it. I'll read it, but I have a feeling that caps up. Five, I like lower. Five, I like lower. Penny stock, no. Uh, Red Hat, I think, caps up. And this is good, too. All right, so we do have some. Wow, Melissa for president? I don't want to be president. You don't make enough money. It's a thankless job with a lot of stress. Look at, Obama's going white. Look at him. Look at him now and eight years ago. He's completely prematurely aged. Would never want that job. Uh, I want to look young and beautiful forever. Here's tonight's watches. Oh, and this one here. That's why you like my room, not many trades. I, we don't do as many trades. Not, oh, not many trade as I do. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Surf dog, would you stop? It's the kind of trade you do to go long this, Helena? You're not serious. You're just saying this to get me all worked up like Jaffa yesterday, right? You're just trying to torque me up here. You're not really long this. Do you see here now what this is still doing? <laughs> Surf Talk says Ted Nugent for president. I don't know, but if this doesn't break the low here at 33, that this is really done, which I thought that it was done anyways. All right, does anyone have any questions about anything at all? At all? Anything whatsoever? Okay, just your friend, Helena. Okay. All right. Let's look at the market quickly. Market is red today. Did that help the APOL? No, it didn't. Did it work against it, though? No, it didn't. Did I think the market would go green today, though? No, it was in a weird area. Q's looked a lot better this morning than they do right now. Could we fall tomorrow? Sure, we could. But it all depends on the gap. I don't know where we close today. I will say the more we fall in here, the more that we could fall. Uh, so it'll be very interesting to see where we close today. We fall and drop hard here today, though. We're going to have a big bounce, whether it's late into the close or tomorrow in the gap. So uh, once again, very, very strong. But again, people are looking at this as having a conviction that the market's made a double top or, didn't, or made a lower high. That's not how I'm reading it. That's not how I'm reading this at all. The bulls are still there. They're there, there, there. Don't forget that, okay? But unlikely we make a new high this week. Potential was a couple of days ago that we could have done it. And when we didn't do it a couple of days ago, actually, no, it was Friday. Uh, when we didn't do it Friday, convincingly, it was pretty much that we weren't going to do it then this week, I guess. But we tried. We might still do it by the end of the month. Are you still in this, Surf Dog? For really? Honestly? Real? Are you still in it? Is anyone still in this? Because I really don't think you should be. Know that this will bounce. 7,000 red bars down in the one-minute chart, and it's 1045. Whether the market's running right or not, you have to control the trade and money manage it. You understand?
you know, I, if I ever get to the, it's really about, I just want to say one more thing and let everybody go. I mean, it's, I knew this would go to this number today. It's just you just have to make the decision. You make the decision, and you have to, and you have to live with it, no matter what it is. Yeah, I, and I made the decision today that I was going to get a dollar more out of this, and then I was going to get all out, and that's what I did. I didn't make the decision I was going to hold it all to the target. But honestly, that's the only way you can get it all the way down with everything you got. You make the decision before it before it even opens. You must. If you look at the money or do anything else, what would happen is you'd look at the money here, you'd see the rally back, you'd see it giving back 50 cents and you'd kill it in the rally or you would actually be upset and this could be the end of the trade. You you have to make the decision before you even take it and I did exactly what I said I was going to do. A dollar or more, I was taking the whole shebang and that's exactly what I did. But I did think for 30 minutes alone when I had the room on quiet, I thought so hard, I almost gave myself a headache. But I did what I decided to do. But you have to make the decision if you're going to hold it to the target before you, before you even, before it even opens. And and whatever that is, then you got to live with it. Whatever that is, you got to live with it. And you know what? You got to have 100% conviction in your ability to be able to figure out the targets. And I and I do, I do, I do, I do. But you're up so much, and then you don't want it to bounce against you with the too much and. The only problematic bounce was this, because it was too much. It's 60 cents, you know. And even if you only had 1,000 shares here, which I had, and I had more than that, this is the bounce in here would be, oh, it would be giving back too much in the bounce. But, but look what you would have made if you would have stuck with it all the way down. I still would have been out here, though. I would have been out right in here, or this little guy in here. But you got to make the decision before you even take the trade. And then no matter what, no matter what, you have to stay with it. No matter what. No matter what, 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 what. And then you lower the stop and the pivot. You lower the, I would lower the stop here. So you still protect the trade. You're not like ready to go, whoo. You're, but you would have gotten out here. You would have lowered the stop here. Let it drop. Lower 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 it. But then you, you would get out at the target that you said, which I said what the target was. So you have to decide before you take the trade, which is why we write it on the sheet. But I decided today I wasn't going to hold it, the whole thing to the target uh, because I thought a dollar or more and I knew that would be great. And in my mind, I was thinking I was going to get everything immediately. I didn't know we were going to have a situation with the fills. But I think in the end, I ended up making what I would have made anyways because of the fact that I think I actually ended up taking more risk. I don't, I don't remember what my average price was and it would be too hard for me to go back and figure it out because of the fact that I simply had too many fills, but too many different prices. You're learning how to hold longer? Yeah. Surf dog, are you still in it? Is anyone still in this? At all? Oh, okay. All right, any questions from anyone about anything else? Great day. And I'm sorry if you didn't get it. You could learn to change brokers, do market orders, set up more ECNs. Shower Singer got it late. I'm glad you made money. Total room tally for today of everyone that wanted to share, which wasn't even half the room. So I thank you for sharing. I think it's good to give us all a positive boost. Everyone that shared, we, we made over $11,000. And there was a lot of people that didn't share, but that's okay. And some people that would have shared that didn't get it. I don't know why I didn't want to hold this to the target. I really knew that was the target, though. Gosh, it's all about the conviction, and I had it. No one has conviction like me, the trades, but no one does. That's why I say things so exact with so much emphasis and so much confidence. That's why I'm saying it about the market. I, I could have gotten another dollar out of this today. If I would have held it to the target. Jeez. Just have to think about it. 
What if we played every NCOF? Let me just think. I could play every NCOF, double my risk. Let me just write this down. Double my risk, out half into the first drop. Have my regular size, regular size hold it to the target. If the first trade stops though, I'll be down two R's. That's the only problem. I'm trying to think if that's ever happened. Have we ever gotten stopped out of an NCOS and had to retake it? I don't even remember now. You held suns yesterday to the target. It was awesome. You're getting better. Which one, Galahad? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. All right, I'm going to let everybody go. Anyone have any questions about anything else? We can just sit and stare at it all day. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Not one stop on a COF. Oh, you can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember either. All right, great job, everybody. Fantastic. We'll see you back in the room tomorrow. Five, I like for tonight. If you feel like watching it, I don't know, you know, where it's going to gap, but I like it if it gaps down. And Red Hat, I have a feeling, gaps up. Okay. All right, great job, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Okay, Surf Dog. I don't have time today, though, because the trends class is in an hour. i got to eat lunch, and I'll see everybody back in an hour that's doing the trends class. And don't forget the entries class is tomorrow if you want to sign up for that. All right, have a wonderful day.